research reveals most banned religions. A study recently published by the Re uh, Pew Research Center explored the global restrictions on religion across 198 countries and territories. The data analyzed by Pew included reports from the United Nations, Human Rights Group, Conflict and Terrorism Analyses, and reports related to religious freedoms. Um, Armin, before I read the rest of the news summary, um, guess which region had the most, the largest share of um, religious restrictions? China. Is that actually your guess? Yeah. Oh, no, you're way off. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. The highest amount of religious restrictions? Restrictions on religion? The, okay, wait. The well, largest share of religious restrictions for the region. Uh, Iran? No, just wait. the Middle East and North Africa. Oh, okay. According to Pew, 55% of the countries in the Middle East and North Africa, or MENA region, have religion-related bans, making the MENA okay, region... Okay, wait, that's not fair. That's not fair. This is per capita. You're adjusting it based on the relative to the population. I was I was answering total-wise. My answer was based on total number of people affected. Your your answer is based on relative oh, to yeah, population. Oh, yeah, no, that's very different. Okay, so no, my answer is correct. I, excuse me. Thank you very much. Total number, it will be China relative to population. Population, of course, it will be the Middle East and North Africa. Yeah, but yeah, go ahead. Um, so making the MENA region the region with the highest share of religious bans among all the religions, the Jehovah's Witnesses, a Christian-based group, are considered the most restricted religious oh. organization in the world. Baha'ism is another highly restricted faith with bans in six countries across three regions. The Islamic offshoot community of the Ahmadiyya are also among the most highly persecuted groups with bans in four countries and amendments to the Pakistani constitution that prohibit themselves from even declaring themselves as Muslims. All right, so just to be clear, this is uh, restrictions on religions, not religions r doing the restrictions, right? That's what we're measuring. So China will be p included. Yes. Okay, good. Okay, so yes, I was correct. I was correct, guys. Just that's the news. The news is that I was correct. <laughs> uh, it just I the news is I nailed it. <laughs> Wait, so, but the region, like you're, you're measuring the entire region, of course, it's going to be like, I thought we we're going to do country by country. The, which country is the worst? I just said for population. Do we know? Um, if you give me a second, I can find that. Wait, I want to um, share the graphic that Pew made. There we go. It was very good. Um, here we go. See? Okay. This is, I want to see, okay, region. Yeah, that's. The Asia Pacific does come in second. Why does it say 17? Oh, those are the, what is that number? That's the number of. So within a region, what percent oh. of countries within that region have bans on religious groups? Okay. I have to, the, the, can you zoom in to see the percentages? It's very small. There we go. 34, 55, 17. Europe, uh, oh, America's is the lowest. Europe is the, the reason why Europe is, comes after the Americas is because that also includes Eastern European countries, right? So yes. Europe is only 1% above the Americas, okay? But, okay, so regional, yeah, see, these are percentages. So obviously it's going to be relative to the population, right? Roughly half of countries in, oh, no, no, it's based on, oh, roughly half of the countries in Middle East, North Africa. Oh, this is based on the number of the, like, it's like a binary thing. Like you're counting an entire country um, as one in, yeah, this, this is not a good way to measure it, right? Because if you're counting by country, if you're counting the percentages based on country, right? A country like as small as, you know, um, Tunisia, will be count one for Middle East and North Africa, and a country as big as China will count as one in favor of Asia Pacific. That's well, yeah, fair, because right? it's talking about standards set by the state, okay. regardless well, I, of how many people. I am a, hu okay, Suzanne, excuse me. I'm a humanist, and <laughs> as a humanist, I care about the number of people affected rather than just like counting countries. 
counting mm-hmm. countries is like a ridiculous way. Like, I, I mean, are we counting UAE and China? Like both of them count as like the same when it comes to like, oh, so this is not a, I, yeah, I don't I don't think this is telling us much. Yeah. But yeah, population wise, it's going to be China followed by Pakistan and India. Pakistan being first. Because Pakistan is huge. Pakistan will uh, beat India because even though India is a lot more popular, like the population of India is a lot higher than Pakistan, but Pakistan's restrictions are so much higher, so much higher compared to India. India, as much as we complain about India, India is still a secular country, relatively. Actually, really. I think in that case, Nigeria might beat it out because Nigeria like, has, yeah. has a huge population. Let me see who has a bigger population, Pakistan or Nigeria. Pa- Pakistan. I would say Pakistan. Let's see. Yes, if Pakistan does have yes. a higher population by roughly 14 million. Yes, and I'm and um Nigeria's population is going to dramatically increase by the next couple of decades. Mm-hmm. Um they're going to be one of the top, you know, 5 or at least top 7. So they might be Pakistan in the next couple of decades. Um, I was actually really surprised to learn that the most banned religious group in the world is Jehovah's Witnesses. I was not expecting that. But the, again, this is why I don't like this metric because they're counting it based on the number of countries that restrict them r- instead of how they restrict them, right? Like, who do you think has it worse? The Ahmadis or the Jehovah's Witnesses? Like, I would say the Ahmadis, right? But if you count yes. the number of, co- but if you count the number of countries where your religion is restricted, Yes, Jehovah's Witnesses will win because they're banned in more places, right? But they're not. But they. But the things that they have to deal with, also because they get around more. Okay, <laughs> like they're everywhere. <laughs> like the Ahmadis don't even have the opportunity to get restricted because they're not. They're not. They, they're. They're in less places, right? Yeah. yeah, the Jehovah's Witness Witnesses do have explicit missionary missions. I mean, they're they're evangelical in their inception completely. And I I yeah. don't think the Ahmadi I can't talk. The Ahmadi community is at large, probably because they're so heavily persecuted. They yeah. they kind of keep quiet. I mean, there's basically an Ahmadi genocide going on in Pakistan. Hmm. Wow, this person's prediction for India is not very real. This person from India is saying, don't worry, we will soon beat Pakistan in that too. Today, I got one WhatsApp group banned in India. The, I, I got, guys, as much as I, as much, we, this is the last thing we're going to say before we go. As much as we share like stories that are horrible in India, I am still optimistic. I have to remind everybody, I am still optimistic about India, okay? Short term, I'm very, very pessimistic about the future of India. Long term, I am very optimistic about the future of India. The views of the younger generation in India is much different from the older generation, okay? And eventually the younger generation will replace the older generation, okay? Short term, we're gonna see the BGP getting more power, more influence, Hindutva is rising, these people are getting more sensitive. The animosity they have with Muslims is very, very useful to win elections, to take attention away from the economy, uh, from agriculture and and from other things that are more important. Every time you fail at that, you only have to stir up hatred in order to become more relative, gain more power, gain more vote. It works. So, so short term, it's not looking very good. Okay, um, but long term is looking very good. And also, I must say that in, as much as India's institutions um, is very you know flawed and incomplete relative to many countries in the in, Nor- in North America and Western European countries. However, they are still strong enough to be able to withhold, I think, against the BJP and Hindutva force. I think India's secularism, I'm hoping it will survive Hindutva. I, I think it will survive Hindutva. But go on, Susanna. Um, there's one quick comment that I wanted to address. Andrew is saying the Jehovah's Witnesses are a dangerous cult and should be treated as such. Yes, I completely agree that they are a dangerous but, cult, and I do not know what exactly you mean as should be treated as such. But banning groups, especially yeah. a destructive cult like the Jehovah's Witnesses, actually plays into their favor. 
They use it as a marketing yeah. tactic to show how persecuted and it's wrong. they are to and garner it's... sympathy. I mean, also it's just wrong because we believe in freedom of expression in this household. Um, <laughs> uh, yes. But yes, banning groups, even if they are dangerous, destructive cults, is counterproductive. It's not. It's mm. not going to. Um, it's just going to abuse people who actually are victims of a destructive organization further. And mm. that destructive organization will utilize and uh, exploit the pain of the, these members for their own personal gain. Right. Um, also, anti-Jewish discrimination is one of the most in the world as well. So just to remind everybody of that as well. Um, that's ethnic, and are you going to say that's ethnicity more than religion? Yes. Uh, not necessarily. Is that that's the discrimination against the people is different than state restrictions and laws against the group. That's what this it. is about. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Cali, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.